Well, across the U.S. and right here in Denver, demonstrations held at the Supreme Court takes up a case as they take up a case that will impact how cities handle enforcing camping bans. Advocates here in the Mile High City marching from the state capitol to City Hall calling for change in policy. They believe those who are homeless should not be subjected to fines or arrests for sleeping outside. And that is what the Supreme Court will now decide. Our Matt Morrow here with the details, Matt. This case will have a lot of ramifications, Andrea. The case the justices are considering comes as the U.S. reported a record number of homeless people last year at nearly 600,000. Housing! Yeah. Hundreds of homeless advocates rallying outside of the U.S. Supreme Court as justices hear arguments about whether the city of Grants Pass, Oregon can punish homeless people for camping in public spaces. Throwing somebody in jail for using a blanket in the middle of the freezing winter. Demonstrators say fining or jailing homeless people makes it harder for them to find housing. Inside the courtroom, Justice Elena Kagan suggested that Grant's pass went too far. It seems like you're criminalizing a status. But Chief Justice John Roberts asked if homelessness should be a constitutionally protected status. If someone is homeless for a week uh, and then uh, finds available shelter, uh, is that person homeless when he's in the shelter? This case comes after a lower court ruled in favor of the homeless population, calling it cruel and unusual punishment to fine and jail someone who doesn't have anywhere else to go. Grants Pass lawyers urge justices to overrule that decision. Which has fueled the spread of encampments while harming those it purports to protect. California Republican Congressman Kevin Kiley says he's seen the impacts in his own state. Kids can't walk to school without having to dodge needles or waste. Citizens can't go uh, to the park without confronting uh, open drug use. Kiley says a ruling in favor of Grants Pass would help other cities better handle homelessness. A decision on the case is expected later this year. For more specific on that, a civil rights attorney we talk with today says that decision could come as soon as the end of June or early July. We'll keep an eye on it for you.